In Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, in the Mayan village of Chunhuhub, you'll find a man who's been dubbed Mexico's Darwin. Arturo Bayona is a professor of biology and a self-appointed curator of a local museum. Bienvenidos a la Casa de la Naturaleza. Welcome to the Natural House Museum. He's been collecting and preserving Mexican roadkill for 25 years. Uh, here we allow 110 birds, uh, 25 mammals, and 35 reptilians. And to get the museum ready, well, there's no lab per se, so he uses his kitchen. I need time to make the preparation of these birds. So in this moment, I can't. So I need to put in my fridge maybe two days, maybe four days, maybe months, sometimes years. Some of my friends, when they come to my home and I say, well, take the water of the fridge, and they open the fridge and, ow, you can <laughs> listen to the screen. You can spot his love of animals everywhere, including his pet poisonous snakes. Well, the name of this, I'm sorry, but the name is Shakira for the movements, you know. But Shakira isn't the only snake in Arturo's life. His animal passion is what led him to the discovery of a lifetime, a secret cave crawling with things he'd never dreamed of. He named it the Cave of the Hanging Snake. Well, now we are in the entrance of the Cave of the Hanging Snakes. In 20 minutes, all the bats will start to come down to catch insects. The snakes feel the vibrations of the wings of the bats, and they say, well, the dinner time is now. So they start to go down to wait to catch the bat of the day. They are rat snakes that have adapted to cave life. My theory is they are there for the food because they don't lose their time hunting out in the jungle. They have the, all the year and with a minimum uh, energy to catch it. Arturo has invited us to spend the night in his cave to see the phenomenon for ourselves. With no power in the jungle, there's limited light. And this ecosystem depends on darkness, so we have to use special red lights and night vision cameras. And then we wait. We have more or less one million of bats in this cave of six different species. Uh, some of these species go to take wild fruits in the night and the another part go to the lake to catch insects. Suddenly it begins. Thousands of bats heading out to hunt. While in dark holes, something else is hunting them. Soon snakes slither to find the perfect spot to feel the vibrations of the bats, waiting for the precise second to attack. It happens in the blink of an eye. It misses this time, but it only takes a second before it has a bat in its jaws. She stay to move, to move, to move, and with the mouth start to broke the bones. She need to wait maybe 20 minutes with all the process. And when the bones are like this, crash, 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 they start to go all, but the deformation and the, the throat is amazing. It's like a elastic here, the, this part of the throat, because if not, it will be impossible to take the bat. That is uh, the reason that I put the name of the hanging snakes, because they, the, the, the snakes need to hang because this movement is the accommodation of the prey. It's a meal that will last her for a week. Now it's finished and she wants to go inside of their home, their home. But it's impossible because you can see the big trough, it's impossible to go to this hole, so she needs to wait. 
you can see all the bed here and the piece of the wing is not complete oh my god this hanging rat snake is a huge discovery but it doesn't end there while hanging snakes are dining on live bats at the bottom of the cave arturo found water and in that water some bizarre blind animals we saw the the eel the blind eel it's like a spaghetti white but it's a fish with this amazing adaptation to the sweet water because the origin of these animals was the sea. And the second part we saw that we call it the white lady, Dama Blanca, because it's like a dress, a white dress, and the movement is like, so we put it that name. And the another is the, the cochinilla. The another is the shrimp. Oh, that is a fantastic friend. Every time it's in moving, 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 uh, looking for seeds and for some uh, part of the food that the, the bats throw to, to the water. And that's the first part of the alimentary chain. The four animals that we can find in the, in the water, are they have a, a history of millions of years in this evolution because the first uh, animals in this way was in the marine life. There's no telling how long these snakes and blind water creatures have been here, but finding this one secret cave has been mind-blowing for Mexico's Darwin. This discovery for me is a very important part of my life. And every time that I can see my sisters, well, I smile because it's another opportunity to be very close with them. I enjoy to be with this little creatures here in the cave. We have a hunch this isn't the last discovery he'll be making.